Hello everyone, I'm John with JP Strategic Investments and today I'm going to go over why a tech-only portfolio can actually be diversified. Now keep in mind that while a tech-only portfolio can be diversified, that doesn't mean that all of them are. So what I'm going to do is go over why a tech-only or even tech-heavy portfolio can be diversified using my own portfolio as an example and how you can make sure that your portfolio is diversified even if it's tech-only or tech-heavy. Also, if you're new to the channel, it's all about stock analysis and stock market related news. So if you enjoy videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's dive right in. So first of all, we need to make sure that we understand what portfolio diversification actually means. So I grabbed a couple of definitions here. The first one says that a diversified portfolio is a collection of different investments that combine to reduce the investor's overall risk profile. Diversification includes owning stocks from several different industries, countries, risk profiles, as well as owning other investments like bonds, commodities, and real estate. The next definition states that diversification is the practice of spreading your investments around so that your exposure to any one type of asset is limited. This practice is designed to help you reduce the volatility of your portfolio over time and one way to balance the risk and reward in your investment portfolio is to diversify your assets. Okay, so basically diversification is a means of spreading your money into different assets so that you don't lose a bunch of money if one of your stocks crashes or if an industry in which you own a stock starts to go downhill. Now, when people say that a tech-only portfolio can't be diversified, I think they're making two errors. The first is that many people have a very rigid idea of diversification and believe that for a portfolio to be diversified, you absolutely need to own stocks from several different industries. This is a very narrow-minded idea of diversification and focuses too much on a strict definition of diversification rather than the idea or the purpose. Simply put, diversification means that your portfolio doesn't have too much exposure to one company, industry, sector, etc. Now, I know some people might be saying that an all-tech portfolio means that your entire portfolio is exposed to one sector or industry, technology. But that's not quite true. And this is the second error that I think people make, which is thinking that all tech stocks are the same. People who make the claim that tech-only or tech-heavy portfolios aren't diversified tend to throw all tech stocks into one basket. And while tech used to be a sector or industry that you could group specific stocks into, it can no longer be used that way because now technology is a part of almost every industry and sector. And any area or industry that hasn't yet been disrupted by technology will be soon. On that note, here's a quick challenge to everyone watching. Let me know in the comments below if you can think of any industry or sector that will never be disrupted by technology. I'd be surprised if anyone could find one. One last thing to note here before I get into my portfolio is that the S&P 500, which is widely considered to be the best indicator of how the market is moving as a whole and probably the most diversified index available to investors, has over a quarter of its funds in technology. And if we take a look at the top 10 companies in the S&P by weight, which means the companies in which the S&P has the most of their money in, we can see that 7 out of the top 10 companies are considered tech companies. So even one of the most diversified portfolios in the world today has over a quarter of its money in technology-based companies, and I would imagine that that percentage will only increase over time. So now that I've explained why tech-only or tech-heavy portfolios can be diversified, let's go over my portfolio as an example. Really quickly, I want to be clear here, I'm only using the stocks in my portfolio as an example, and none of this should be taken as financial advice to anyone. Now, my portfolio is a mix of stocks and options, but basically I own six main stocks, and five of them are technology-based companies. So let's go over these stocks and talk about how they create a well-diversified portfolio. So first up, one of the stocks I own is Rocket Companies, ticker symbol RKT. For any of you that don't already know, Rocket Companies is on a mission to simplify the entire lending process related to mortgages, auto loans, and other lending areas. They do this by leveraging their website and app so that someone has the ability to apply for a loan, get approved, and make a purchase all from their phone and computer in a fraction of the time that other lenders offer. Rocket is considered to be a fintech or financial technology company. The next stock in my portfolio is actually one that I've been buying into pretty heavily recently, and that is CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD. CrowdStrike is a cloud-based cybersecurity company that provides, in my opinion, the most efficient and comprehensive solution to companies and individuals looking for cybersecurity. Obviously, they are a tech company, and in my opinion, they're well positioned to take advantage of a market that will continue to grow rapidly over the next decades. Next up is Patriot One Technologies, ticker symbol PTOTF for US investors, but it also trades in Canada under the ticker symbol PAT. Patriot One is a company that manufactures covert threat detection technology that can be used to detect and identify weapons using a combination of magnets, cameras, microwave radar, and other sensors. 
Their mission is to provide a non-intrusive solution to threats like active shooter, bombs, and other things that we face all too often in today's world. The next stock in my portfolio is Planet 13, ticker symbol PLNHF for US investors and PLTH for Canadian investors. Planet 13 is the only non-tech stock in my portfolio. They're in the MJ space and they will soon have two superstores. The first is in Las Vegas, which has already been very successful, and the second is currently under construction in Santa Ana, California. The second to last stock in my portfolio is Tesla, and I don't think I need to explain that one to anybody. So finally, let's get to the last stock in my portfolio, which is Skywork Solutions, ticker symbol SWKS. Skywork Solutions makes RF semiconductor chips for wireless and cellular connectivity. They stand to benefit from the move to 5G, autonomous vehicles, and the ever-growing Internet of Things. So as you can see, five out of the six stocks that I own are technology-based companies, although they are very different companies in different industries with different degrees of risk and reward. I'm exposed to the housing market, cybersecurity, physical security, autonomous vehicles, battery storage, 5G, and the Internet of Things, all without even including Planet 13. By the way, if you want to learn more about any of these stocks, you can check out the videos I've linked in the description. And if you want to know exactly what trades I'm making, when I'm making them, and discuss stock and trade ideas with me, join my Discord server. The link is also in the description below. So as you can see, even though most of the stocks in my portfolio are technology-based stocks, I think it's safe to say it's a fairly diversified portfolio. An easy way to tell if your own portfolio is diversified is to do a quick test of the markets that your stocks are exposed to and make sure that they aren't the same markets or closely related. This doesn't mean that you can't own mostly or all tech stocks, it just means that the stocks that you own shouldn't be exposed to the same markets. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Also, don't forget to comment below if you know any industry that technology will never disrupt. Other than that, see you next time, and have a great day.